Hello gang, this is my review or intro to Google Keep, Google's new note-taking uh, software. It's online and it is on the Android platform. It is on my Nexus 7 right now. I loaded the app up. It's also on my phone. I would show you my phone as well, but it is currently being used to record this video. Okay, let's just take a run through of it. Uh, I put it under my sync folder right there. Keep, it's got this cool little icon of a, a sticky like pad and a light bulb. I guess it's like your ideas or something. And <clears throat> when you first open it up, you see the Google Keep logo. And up here it says, add a quick note. It tells you to, you can uh, also from there, click the note button, the checklist button, the voice note button, or a picture note. Or you can just click the add quick note section and start typing a note right there. Okay, um, right from there you can see here are your notes that you already have. There's different types of notes. Or you can click up here at the top and click single column view. And then your notes are all like this, like uh, like an Instagram-like feed instead of the multi-column view. I like the multi-column view myself, so we'll stick with that for this video. Okay, first off, you have these different notes. Here is a regular note with just one word in it. That's why it's so big. And then over here, we have a regular note, plain old note with a lot of it. This is the full Gettysburg Address. We'll click on that. And there you go. Here is the full Gettysburg Address in Google Keep. <clears throat> it looks really nice. The font's really cool. You can go up here and, oops, excuse me. You see this right here? This is a paint-looking device. You click on it. If I let me, <clears throat> excuse me. <clears throat> You can pick what color you want the note to be. We'll go with yellow. <laughs> it's, it's and I don't think the colors really appeal to me. I prefer the, you know, just plain note. But when you change the color, it changes it here, so you can have different colors. So you can make it gray if you wanted instead, and the note would become gray. But personally, I just like leaving it the plain old white. It makes it look cleaner. So this is the regular one. You can click anywhere, edit. You can add a picture. You can share to your other applications. Or you can go over here and archive, delete, add check boxes, and the other stuff. So that is uh, that. The, and then we will go look at some other notes. Here is the audio note. You can tell it's audio because it's got a little play button right there in the far right hand corner. And also these tell you the times that they were made right there, which is really cool. And probably has the date, but don't have the date yet since I just put it on here. So right here, this is an audio note. We'll click on that. And the preview is really nice, by the way, sorry. Uh, it has a good little preview of each note, and the more you have, the smaller the font gets, trying to put as much as it can in the uh, little note. So this is an audio note, and those are the titles in bold, by the way. If you don't have a title, it'll just uh, show the note. So this is an audio note. It's got a little play thing, which is really cool. And this syncs online, by the way, so you can listen to all your notes online or read them. Here's a five-second note. You can delete it if you wish. You can add a picture and do the color changing as usual. And here, it, what it does is you click audio, it opens up an audio thing, I'll show you, and then you say what you want to say, it converts it to text the best it can, and then uh, you get you get to keep the audio part of it too. So You know you're a crazy person who needs psychiatric help. I know some places. Hmm. Yeah, that's me being random, but uh, what it did is it got it word for word, which is awesome. And uh, put it in the audio for you have the audio format of the original and you have it converted to text up here. That is super cool. Again, you can share, add notes, all that same stuff. And then here's the title. I put psych because I psycho <laughs> talk. So uh, down here is a picture. One You cannot you pull from your gallery for this. You have to take a picture. So open that up. It shows the picture at the top. And then over here it says the Beatles. Yep, that's the title and that's what's in the note. Uh, I, I don't know. Maybe you can add more. Let's see. Let's see if you can add more than one picture. Yes, you can add more than one picture to a note, which is really cool, and you can delete them by clicking the little X. But you cannot add pictures from your gallery, so you can only add it from your camera right now. Then here is a regular one. You click on it. It's really small test, but that's just making it big. And then over here is a checkbox. One here, the different checks, you click them off. Check one, check two, check three, crosses them out, which is really cool. And you can add more items, change the title of the checklist, add a picture to your checklist, delete the checklist, change the color of the checklist. So this is a really functional app. I really do like it. It's, I mean, I've only played with it for like an hour and I already pretty much know everything. Uh, it's really cool. Uh, they, some people have said you can do Google Now commands, so you can use the you know Google's new voice assistant to make notes and audio recordings and such. I haven't tried that yet, but if you can do that, that is super cool. So. Uh, let me just try one more. 
This is an audio test. So it got this is an audio test word for word, which is really good. If you speak clearly, it gets it. And then there you go. And there it is. This is an audio test. So this has been a review slash intro to Google Keep, Google's new note. Keep. Oh, by the way, first, sorry. you can search your notes too. Forgot to mention that by clicking the little search button up there. So that's everything. Um, small app, really nice. I was actually looking for a new note taking app today, and this popped up in my Android. Android feed and I'm really impressed with it. So go download Android Keep right away. I will put the link to the Play Store download in my description. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, shoot me a comment.